Good morning, dear students. Today we will do maths of class fifth. I will teach you how to do subtraction of units of measurement. For that, let's take an example from our daily life. Sukman and Arpan's mother wants to attend a function. For that, she wants to get a suit stitched for her. She needs five meters of fabric to get her suit stitched. So she goes to the market. To buy the cloth. Now the shopkeeper measures the cloth with a meter rod. One, two, three, four, and five meters. He separates five meters of cloth to make a suit. Now out of this one. Two and a half. That means two meters and fifty centimeters cloth is cut to make a shirt. Dear students, when we cut two meters and fifty centimeters of cloth out of five meters of cloth, with how much cloth are we left with? One, two, and a half. Means we are left with two meters and fifty centimeters of cloth. Now we will solve this sum in a mathematical way. We will write meters under meters and centimeters under centimeters. After subtracting two meters fifty centimeters from five meters, we get two meters and fifty centimeters. Dear students. Here we have four liters of milk with us. We have eight packets of milk, each packet containing five hundred milliliters of milk. Dear students, out of this four liters of milk, when we use five hundred milliliter of milk to make tea, we are left with how much milk? Yes, we are left with one. Two, three, and a half liters means three liters and five hundred milliliters of milk. Dear students, in mathematical pattern, we will solve this sum like this. We will write liters under liters and milliliters under milliliters. After subtracting five hundred milliliters from four liters. We are left with three liters and five hundred milliliters. Dear students, let's take an another example from our daily life. Sukman and Arpan's mother went to market to buy some vegetables. She bought some potatoes and some peas. When both of these vegetables, means potatoes and peas, were weighed together, their weight was. Two kilograms and eight hundred four grams. Now, when the peas were weighed separately, their weight was five hundred grams, and the weight of potatoes was two kilograms and three hundred four grams. Dear students, it is very clear that when we subtract five hundred grams from two kilograms and eight hundred four grams. We get two kilograms and three hundred four grams. Dear students, now we will solve this in a mathematical way. Dear students, we will write kilograms under kilograms and grams under grams. After subtracting five hundred grams from two kilogram and eight hundred four grams, we get two kilograms and three hundred four grams. Dear students, let's solve question number seven of exercise six point four. The question is: A family consumes ten kilograms, seven fifty grams wheat, and four kilograms, five hundred grams rice in a month. Find the difference of consumption of rice and wheat. Dear students, let's see how much wheat. Does this family consumes in a month? Yes, 
it is 10 kilograms 750 grams and how much rice does this family consumes in this month yes it consumes 4 kilograms and 500 grams of rice now to find the difference between the consumption of wheat and rice we will subtract the consumption of rice from consumption of wheat in mathematical pattern this sum can be done like this so the difference between the consumption of wheat and rice is 6 kilograms 250 grams for homework you have to solve question number 2 6 and 7 of exercise 6.4 thank you thank you so much dear students